Hey, how's everybody doing? Oh, welcome back to my channel. Gosh, it's been over a month since I've made any kind of recording because uh, my husband, he was in the hospital, poor guy. And uh, long story short, he had gotten an infection in his foot and they had to do surgery. And he just got his stitches out on Monday, last Monday. So today, Sunday, November 27th, uh, is the first Sunday that we've gone to church. So I was really excited to go back to church after over a month of not being able to go. And um, so it was nice. And um, so at church, we have this thing called connection time and where, you know, you get yourself a snack and some coffee and you sit at a table or not. If you feel like walking around, you walk around and you talk to people. And the pastor's wife, Pam, she come over to us and I invited her to sit down and we were talking about different things. And it was nice, you know, to like talk to her one on one about different things. And, um, but so, so, so that's what I've been doing for the last month, like just dealing with my husband and, you know, taking care of him. And, but I'm really excited to get back and make another video. And, uh, so, you know, that's that. But, um, so I don't really, don't really know r really what I want to talk about, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, so specifically he, he, uh, well, what had happened was back in the summer, like in June, I decided like I wanted to start walking. And so, uh, we have a track near our house. So if you go four times around a track. That equals a mile. So I said, I wanted to start walking. So he decided he's going to be supportive of me. And um, so he so he decides, you know, I'm going to start walk. I'll, I'll walk with her. So, okay. So he walks for three days. And then on, on the third night, he says to me, because he, he has neuropathy because he, he's diabetic. So he says, do I have anything on the bottom of my my foot and I'm like oh my gosh yeah and he had these big blisters he's got a tiny one on the other foot but he's got this you know these big blisters right so he was doctoring these blisters for like um for like gosh months like weeks and weeks and months and and, and then so like every week he would go to the, his foot doctor and every week it, it looks okay it's getting a little better getting a little better getting a little better and then just like we were uh, expected to go to my nephew's wedding. Okay, so the Friday, Thursday or Friday before my nephew's wedding, which was going to be on the Saturday, um, he he wakes up with a fever, like 101 or something. And I'm like, oh, great. I'm like, well, you got to test yourself for COVID. I said, we can't go to a wedding if you have COVID. And he was like, why don't you, why don't you just get Josh, who's our oldest son? Why don't you just, just get, just get Josh to take you to the wedding? I said, it doesn't matter. I said, if you have COVID, then I've been exposed to you. We can't go to this wedding. So he takes a test, no COVID. But with COVID, the first test doesn't mean anything. So before the wedding came, he had taken three tests and all three of them were negative. And I said, babe, I'm like, listen, if, if you um, don't, if you have a fever uh, over 101, but you don't have COVID, you have an infection somewhere in your body. And he said to me, eh, yeah, nah, like men do, right? Like that's what men do. So, so I'm like, okay, well, yeah, you have an infection. But the weird thing was too, was when I was looking at it, like he would, always, he always says to me like, look at the bottom of his feet. Do you see anything weird? You know, and it's one day before he even got the fever, I said, your foot doesn't look right. I said, it just looks like there's something in that. It just looks weird to me. So maybe you should go to the doctor and again, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so when I told him, I said, you have a fever of 101. You have, there's something, you have a virus. There's something wrong with you, right? So, so he, so then he goes, every Wednesday he goes to the foot doctor. So between that Wednesday and the next following to Monday, no, that Monday, he got an appointment as soon as he could. So but it wasn't even a week different. She was like, oh my gosh, yeah, this doesn't look good. And, 
and she, I think she took an x-ray or something, and she's, well, the x-ray's not showing anything, but I really don't like the looks of this, and, and that was on the 18th of October, and by the 19th of October, they had given him a surgery, took a bone biopsy, and, and then when he got back from surgery, he was on what's called a wound vac. So then, so then over a month later, he finally got the stitches out. So that's what we've been dealing with. So he said to me, I noticed you haven't made one of your videos in, in a while. And I was like, well, I can't really focus on that with, you know, because it's like when a person is bed bound, um, you know, and it's like in, you're going up and down the steps all day, you know, um, with most be people, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, not in this house because we wake up late. So it's more like brunch and dinner and then a snack around eight o'clock, you know, or do you want a cup of coffee, whatever, or, you know, and luckily it was only the one foot. So with a walker, he was able to, to hobble to the bathroom and, um, but that's what we've been doing. So I'm like really excited to, uh, get back to doing this, but I really don't know what my topic should be, like what I should talk about. I really like, because I, I noticed the most successful um, YouTube channels are people, they pick one topic and they just talk about that thing. And like some people like talk about organization or some people talk about um, scary stories or true crime or... Um, hoarding or decluttering or I don't know whatever arts and crafts whatever and they have one thing and that's why they have all these viewers because they just concentrate on one thing I I have no idea like what I don't know like what I should be talking about and this is just like me I guess rambling and get things off my chest I guess I don't know I know it's weird and then I don't want to talk too long because I've noticed with my phone, if I go over a certain amount of time, then it put, it splits my videos in two parts. And I really haven't figured out how to do any kind of editing yet. This I'm like figuring it out as I go along. And I was starting to get good with some things, but then this hap this thing happened with my husband. So then, you know, I started like, whatever not focusing on this anymore but but then also I noticed like it's like some youtubers like um they they'll post things every day or they or or at least three times a week or four times a week five times a week but a lot of them post and then some of them post three times every day or whatever. And it's like, wow. But the, the, the people that post that much is like they really have a following. And people really want to hear what they have to say. And I don't know. But anyway, Thanksgiving was good. Two of our daughters came over for Thanksgiving to eat dinner. And then, uh, and then the rest, like the kids and the grandkids. Not all the kids and grandkids, but a lot of the kids and grandkids. Um, came over for dessert and I took a ton of pictures and like right now is where I should be, you know, putting in pictures of, and I guess I could maybe figure it out how to do it, but right now I should be showing pictures of my family and, you know, especially the grandkids. They're so cute. Oh my God. I have one grandson who is four years old. His name is Noah and Noah's afraid of Billy Cat. I don't know why Billy is like... The sweetest, most chill cat you ever want to meet, right? But, so, the grandkids are kind of, like, hanging on the stairs. And, like, you know, like, sitting, the bigger, the bigger kids are, like, sitting, hanging out, like, talking to each other. And the little kids are, like, bug bugging them, you know, going up the stairs, like, past them and, like, how little kids do, right? And Billy doesn't, Billy Cat doesn't like company. So, he's, like, trying to get up the steps. Well, he goes up the steps past, um, past Noah. And, um, and I was afraid of him and he goes, I need somebody to get me to grandma, please. Somebody needs to get me, please get me to my grandma. <laughs> so 
<laughs> my son's girlfriend's like, Black, I'll get you to grandma. So she gets them off the steps and brings them over to me. <laughs> so funny. They're, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. But so yeah, so it's like, I don't, I don't know if you guys want to hear me ramble on about my personal life or my family, or maybe you're like, no, tell us a story, you know, no, tell us about the grandkids. And, um, so I'm thinking about rearranging my, um, bathroom down there. Right now I'm on the third floor. The third floor is self-contained. And what I mean by that is it has its own bathroom. Like at one point we had kind of like a little mini apartment going on up here. We had a refrigerator and a microwave and a coffee pot and blah, blah, blah. Plus we, and people would say, oh my gosh, you never have to leave this room if you don't want to. And then, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then I got sick and, um, the paramedics were having a hell of a time. For, they were like, how are we getting her out of here? How are we getting her on a stretcher and getting her downstairs? It's like, and it really scared me. And meanwhile, my blood pressure was 120 over some godforsaken number, right? And before they could even get me out of here, they were like, they're like trying to calm me down because they're like, they're so afraid of I'm gonna like stroke out if I don't calm the frick down, right? So, so then, um, so then I said to my husband because we're empty nesters, so every bedroom in this house belongs to us now. <laughs> you don't have to share any of these bedrooms with anybody, right? So. I said, I want to move downstairs to the second floor. So we did. But now up here, um, he pretty much does um, his eBay stuff out of this room. He's an eBay seller. And and there's, there's a lot of furniture in here still. But it used to be our bedroom. But now our bedroom's on the second floor. But up here, it, it, see, it has its own heat dial. So when I first came up, I was like, Oh my gosh, it's freaking cold up here. And from some of my videos from just a few months ago, like two months ago, it was steaming hot up here. So it's like, I didn't know if I, you know, if I want to, it's either, it's, it's very inconsistent. If I don't turn the heat on, it's either going to be freezing cold or don't, during the summer, if I don't put the air conditioner on, it's going to be sweating hot. But on the second floor, well, it gets pretty warm with the heat on in the summer. We only usually just turn our heat on to get the chill off the house and we shut it right off because it gets so hot. And uh, so, but I have a craft room downstairs. So I'm thinking if I rearrange it in such a way and give myself a cute background, then I could make videos, maybe make, I don't know. Because right now this is, this is my cell phone with a ring light. And I thought maybe I could use the laptop and download like on my phone right now, I have an editing tool that maybe download. I don't know. I don't know. But still, I, I don't know what my genre is. I, I really, I don't know. I started out just by making one video because I wanted to um, just communicate to everybody about the Lord. And because there's people who have different types of lifestyle and the different types of communities who've been made to feel less than or like God hates your guts or something. Well, that's ridiculous. And, um, so I want, basically I wanted to make a video letting everybody know that Jesus loves you no matter, no matter who you are, no matter where you are in life, no matter who you are. No matter what sin you committed yesterday, Jesus still loves you. And so I made this video. It's the first video I ever made. And I thought, okay, well, that's good. That's one and done. And I'll probably never do it again. And then I said, you know what? You know, I think I will. But it's like, but these are the things I'm good at. <laughs> I'm good at crafts. I mean, obviously, because I have a craft room. Okay, you wouldn't have a craft room if you're not good at crafting, right? Makes sense. Um, and one time my daughter says to me, um, cause I was watching, um, organizational videos and she said, mom, you could make your own organizational videos. Cause that's another thing that I'm really good at. I'm, I'm a very organized person. I'm very like, um, tidy, 
you know, and and I'm always trying to challenge myself to reorganize a drawer to make it even more organized than it was yesterday. And I, I'm weird like that. And, um, but anyway, um, so I'm good at those two things. Um, so I could make organizational videos or I could make crafting videos, but neither one of that, neither one of those really, I don't know, really does it for me. It's, I don't know. It's weird. And, um, and I discovered something that these videos, like, wow, they're, <laughs> they're, they're a lot of work. Like, first of all, just sitting to take the time and then if it to, to, to record, but then people that really do them right, like some of them, excuse me, actually look like, um, TV shows. Like they had this really cool intro, you know, and they'll have like their, almost like how you on a TV show, how you have your, your opening sequence, right? Your opening, you know, credits, whatever, how they'll have that little, you know, montage. It's like they'll have their montage or whatever, their little opening, opening intro thing. And then they describe themselves and, you know, what they're all about in every video they do this. And then, um, and then they have an, what they call an outro, even that's not really a word, but they have an outro. <laughs> and, and then of course they remind you to like them and subscribe for their video. And they do that with every video and it's like, and then they insert pictures and they're like really sharp. They're really professionally done. You know, they're great. And, um, and it's like, I have no idea how I even would go about any of that. You know, I'm just starting to figure out thumbnails. So, in like, or to add music or something. I know how to add music to my shorts. I know how to do that. But that's only because they provide that as an option. It's not the bottom of your short, you know, that you can, that you can do that. So that's the only reason why I figured that out. But like, there's people who, like, the coolest things that the ones I love are the ones where, um, you, you know, they, they, they'll film themselves cleaning some, their room from like they put their camera up say up somewhere so you can see the whole room and then they speed up the film they speed it up film such an old-fashioned word they speed up the video and then they um they had music but it's youtube music over over top of it or they they do a voiceover it's like how do they even know how to how to do this it's like i'm such a boomer you know <laughs> i really am it's like <laughs> it's like it's crazy it's, I, I have no idea and still this one video that I have and this is the best one so far I've got almost 500 views so for me that's like woo that's my it might as well be 5,000 or 5 million because it's like it's almost as five but I figured I think I figured out why it's got so many views is because I think somebody else is using that as a clip in their video because it my, my what's the names, my, um, my, my algorithms and my report that they give you show that somebody else is like, oh, I can't really explain it. And I don't even remember her name, but, and I think what it, that meant was she took my video cause it's a really stupid video and I look like an absolute idiot in this video. So probably to somebody it's like the funniest thing. And, and it's like a 45 second, like, I don't know, it's like really dumb. And that's what, that one's got the most views, but I think it's because somebody is using it without my permission, by the way. <laughs> I can't care. She could use it all she wants. Um, but I think she's using this clip on her videos and where I look like an absolute fool. And cause I'm so excited because I figured out something that's so normal and obvious to everybody else that does this right what I was so excited is I figured this out and I just entitled it I figured it out <laughs> and so oh excuse me but um yeah so I don't know <laughs> it's so dumb but that's got almost 500 views I wish all my videos would get 500 views that would be cool but um so but I would like to remind everybody to subscribe if you watch me because I have 11, 11 whole subscribers, 11, 
That's 10 plus 1, 11. <laughs> and so, um, and if you like this video, like it. And leave me a comment because, you know, uh, no hate. No hate. Because I know that this is stupid. I know that, um, you know, whatever. I know it's stupid and I know it's, uh, um, I'm so Facebook ignorant. I really <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. And so... But yeah, leave me a comment. Give me some feedback. Like, you know what, Beth? I think you need to talk about this. Or, um, or you know, you probably should just get off of Facebook. No, no, no. Don't say that because I don't want to get off of Facebook. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, yeah, I like, because I think I did this backwards. Because there's like a lot of people that I like on Facebook. And whatever they do. Even if they go away from their genre, I will watch the video because I really like them. See, I did it backwards. I was hoping for people to like me and want to watch my videos without having a genre. I should have had a genre first and then get people hooked on to me and then talk about my day-to-day -day life. That would have made more sense. But I did it backwards. So now there's probably people thinking, who is, what, who is this? person why did she she just rambles on about nothing and it's so dumb what she talks about but I don't know whatever I really don't have a thing I don't have a thing I don't I don't know I, I just you know I could talk about this poster back here and how it took me literally 25 years to complete it literally 25 years maybe a little longer than that but anyway Okay, so, uh, so 22 minutes already on this video. So I'm going to end this video and maybe make a second one. I don't know. All right. So, well, thanks for indulging me. And uh, and if, you're, if you got into this point, well, God bless you. <laughs>